All right, so I got this new uh, split VTX camera combo I'm trying out. Um, it is called the Wolf Whoop Q2. And here it is right here. The VTX part of it looks a lot like this one, which is the FX806. They look almost identical. Except a few things like the antennas on the other side, the plug on this one's at the bottom, and on this one it's at the top. Uh, and on the back side they look different, but they're the exact same size. Um, and I think I might like this one more now. I don't know. Um, I, I just tried it out. It looks the picture looks excellent. Um, I don't know if it's as light as this. It might be a tad bit heavier, but that's no problem. Um, I believe this is somewhere around three grams, maybe a little bit more, maybe three and a half. And this is four grams total. So the VTX is two and a half and the camera is like one and a half. Uh, it looks kind of funky because it comes with this four pin plug and it comes with this one plugged up in one of these holes here. And it's the video attaching itself to, to itself. You know what I'm saying? Um, it's really weird. I have no idea why it would be up in there as one of the pins, but I pulled it out and left it connected because you have to have them connected, you know, and it still works. So I don't know, but I'm just going to trim it off right here. And then I got my video in video out for my OSD, but for now I'm going to leave it connected like this so that I can show you it. And I just happen to have something new that I am able to show the FPV on got this nice monitor up there attached to the wall I just got it on there with velcro uh, it's so nice to have that instead of having to grab my goggles every time turn them on and then try to get the camera to focus up in the little tiny hole in the goggles you know this is just so much better so I'm gonna plug it in real quick we'll check it out yeah I'm really gonna like that the uh, plug is on this end because uh, I was kind of having a little bit of problem with the tiny whoop canopies with the plug being back here. Now the antenna is here, but it'll clear the canopy, so that'll be fine. But let me plug it in. And there we go. Look how nice that picture looks. So the wires are on the bottom of the camera, which is just fine for the mounts that I use. It's going to work perfect. So let me uh, grab my phone here and we'll get a close up. <laughs> that looks funny. All right, there we go. Yeah, picture looks really nice. Everything's crystal clear. The colors look rich and nice. It's not all dark like I've seen some of them be. Um, I would almost say that the, the picture is clearer than the FX806. Uh, I'm not 100% on that, but I do get a little bit of fuzziness with the FX806. I'm not sure why this LED flashes. I'll have to check out what the deal is, but it'll flash six times, like, and then it'll stop for a second, and then it'll flash six times again. I wonder if that's the channel. Let me see. I'm going to change the channel and see if it does it flashes seven times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep, that's pretty cool. Nice. And then you hold it down for a couple seconds to change the band. And then one press changes the channels. So pretty awesome. So far, I'm really liking it. Um, I'm going to have to put it on a quad and fly it around to really check it out. But yeah, so far, I mean, look at that picture. Part of it is that nice... Eachine monitor it puts out a nice picture but man those colors look great 
and it's just clear. Looks really good. Go in the dark. Oh man, it's even pretty bright when it's in somewhat darkness. Nice. Let's see if it's hot. Uh, it's it's kind of hot, but I mean that's to be expected. It's not as hot as like a 200 milliwatt. Of course, it's 25 milliwatts. So, yeah, I'm really liking this thing. The weight is good. Um, the size, of course. I mean, it's the same exact size as this that I've been using on Tiny Whoops with the canopy. Except the plug is towards the front now, which would be nice. And the uh, button, let's see. Yeah, the button's all the way up front on the edge on this one, and it's more halfway back in, on this one, so that'll be even better too. So yeah, I'll uh, put this on a quad and fly it around a little bit. I'll get some DVR and stuff and let you guys know what I think of it some more. That's the Wolf Whoop Q2, and I will leave a link for it if you guys want. Uh, I get it off eBay. It's like 18 bucks, which is super cheap. It's basically the cheapest you can get right now that I know of. And uh, it comes to my doorstep like quick fast. I mean, super fast. It's it's one of those things where it's like you get it off eBay, but it's Amazon, so you get you get just lightning fast shipping. I don't know. It's it's really weird. I'll buy stuff off eBay. And it'll come on Sundays and crazy shit, like two days and to my doorstep. It's awesome. But anyway, yeah, I'll leave a link to it. You guys can pick one up if you want. 18 bucks, super cheap. So there you go.